Dave the Wave, and I am a maker. Just this is what I was using as a reference before, which is just on-off switches right. to tune the thing. I built this uh, gizmo here. This is called the B board. It's got balls in it, um, and so you can see this is a, a dummy section that I built with the sensor. I'm using a CNY70, and I've got 96 of them inside. And with these sensors, you can see there's a, a photo cell that um, detects, and there's an infrared LED that 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 um, sends out infrared. And so I can get to about a half a millimeter the position of the ball. There are four um, cables coming out, and they go to a, uh, a series of Arduinos. Um, we use uh, two multiplexers on Unos, and then I use I squared C to talk to Omega, and that does the actual logic. The idea is with the board is that these things work in columns. And I'm, I'm experimenting with colors, but we'll, we'll get to the one that I built in 1990, uh, which actually does music. And um, so the left and the right hand would, would work together. So for example, you'd have cellos, you'd have your stringed instruments and maybe flutes. So you could, it's polytambric is the notion. The way that, that this is designed to work is that the left and the right hand have to hold the value down together. So the left hand will form a, um, a pattern that, that describes a mode, for example, major, minor, pentatonic, half step, uh, or algebraic. I put fours in the left hand, and I put threes in the right hand. And so if you add these things up, this might be four, eight, 12, 16, and then I would add on to that three, six, nine, 12. And I'll show you how that works. So um, I developed a, a bunch of tunings for this, and a tuning is, um, um, a, a tuning says that when the left and the right hands uh, are pushed down, you get a certain output. The interesting thing about this, like hold down these two here, this one and this one, yeah, and one over here. Now you can get four notes or three notes. You can start to play chords because everything adds up, right? So and if you do two here, you're going to get you're going to get four notes. Right. Then he's skipping a little. Um, and again, the idea would be that this would be perhaps cellos, string instruments, and a flute as an example. Or percussion, you know, on the outside percussion, your hand is doing this, and the inside is maybe a different kind of a beat, like maybe, maybe different types of drums, and you can tune them, right? So th that's, uh, that's it. That's what I call a modal fabric. The tunings I've done are a Pythagorean. I've done several in Bach preludes, and then um, I've also um, just experimented arithmetically.